So, it's 2024. Wake up, wake up, wake up. And if you've been in the online money making space or the Hustlers University side of the internet for the last few years, you probably remember Etsy dropshipping. Etsy dropshipping was very, very big a few years ago and still a few people in the game that are absolutely printing today. So, my question is, does it still work in 2024? And let's see if we can make it happen. Much like regular dropshipping, I've heard people time and time again saying Etsy dropshipping is dead, doesn't print like it used to. So we're gonna find out, does it still work in 2024? Let's start the challenge. So first things first, we need to look into Etsy as a business model and what kind of products actually work in this space. So as some of you may know, Etsy is essentially an online marketplace, which is purely designed for creatives and artists to sell their handmade goods for the most part. But there's been an influx of entrepreneurs and online hustlers just trying to make a quick buck doing online drop shipping with Etsy. Basically what they do is print on demand. You might've heard this thrown around from time to time. Bunch of influencers pushing it. They're Etsy on demand, automated, buzzword, 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 buzzword. Uh, essentially what they do is create a design on Canva, upload it to a print on demand site, which will automatically print on t-shirts, hats, jumpers, whatever it may be. And then they'll upload that on Etsy, sell it to middle-aged mums, and then they'll keep the difference in profit. So they'll probably upload it for $60 and it costs $20 to ship it out from Printful. They keep the $40. La la la, we all know what drop shipping is, but that's the print on demand side. And that's what most people are doing in the space today. That's what's really printing at the moment. But it is oversaturated. So that's not going to be the route I am taking with this challenge. My idea is that if I upload enough listings in enough categories in very, very different niches, that eventually it's only a matter of time until some of those listings make it to the top of the search terms, especially if I use untapped products that all the other dropshippers aren't using. Um, so it's kind of a throw it at the wall and see what sticks mentality, but I think that might work for this challenge and let's see if it pays off. Full disclosure, I opened this store three to four months ago. Uh, I had this other crazy idea of designing air fresheners having them shipped out from China and literally selling them out of my house. I still do it today. It doesn't make me a whole lot of money, but it's got to the point where it's almost a, another consistent or passive income. So my thought is I'm just going to add to that store, repurpose it. Anyway, I massively, massively underestimated this process and I spent the next two hours uploading about 20 products. So I'm not gonna tell you which products I've used just yet, but we'll see if this kicks off. Uploaded all of them. Etsy charges about 20 cents US per listing you upload. So there's a small upfront cost Give me the dollar. It's virtually nothing if we can get a few sales out of it. Anyway, after spending hours uploading all these videos, I went to bed and I actually woke up to one sale. So this product I've uploaded for $70. That's $70 Australian. This one cost me $20. Those are all my overheads. That's the product shipped out from AliExpress with 10 day shipping. So customers gonna be happy and I get to keep the $50 in between. Etsy charges a few fees here and there, but I'm estimating this is gonna be about $45 net profit. The great thing about Etsy is that it is a lot cheaper than traditional drop shipping. The great thing about Etsy drop shipping is that it's super organic. You don't have to pay for your website creation. You don't have to pay Mark Zuckerberg to advertise on his site and you don't have to pay any overheads or ongoing fees like Shopify fees. It's all taken from your sales. So with regular drop shipping, your profit margins may be around 10 to 20%. But Etsy dropshipping, you can get your profit margins up close to 60, 70, even 80% at times. So I can see this being super sustainable for people. If you want to put in the man hours to really upload these products and get them absolutely pumping on Etsy, I can really see this being a huge side hustle for some people. Anyway, over the next few weeks, I'm going to continue trying to upload as many listings as I can each day. I'm going to see how many listings I can load onto this store, because as far as I'm concerned, it's only a matter of time till a few of those listings get ranked right at the top of the Etsy search terms, and then you're really, really printing. If you have, I only have 20 products on this site, and I managed to sell one, that's one order. So imagine if you had 200 products on the site. With doing the maths on that, I would have done 10 orders, and I would have made $500 just in one day. So if you can do this, I would highly suggest putting the man hours in, doing the research, seeing what's trending at the moment, seeing what's always going to get you those organic sales over time, see what other people are making handmade, see if it's being made in, uh, in China and you can source it on AliExpress. 
upload it, put the time in, get the best photos, get a really nice description going. I use ChatGPT for mine just to get all the buzzwords in there. Um, but overall, I can see this being a really good side hustle for people. Anyway, I'm gonna do a follow-up video next week. I'll let you know how many sales I've done in the last seven days and let you know if this can be a sustainable business practice. For if you have any other side hustles you want me to test out, drop them in the comments. Otherwise, please give me a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it.